continue, continue. So, wait, spectral dying? Is this ghost? Yeah, it is. Ghosts, go, go. Oh, you're gonna fight me? You're gonna fight me? Oh, they have cloak. And an ion drone. No, that's a particle drone. It's yellow, which makes me think ion, but it's not. What's that particle drone? Particle drone. It's a hull beam. Their ship is actually, like, really bad. In fact, I don't even think they can get through my shields, like, at all. <laughs> Which makes me wonder what the hell we're gonna do. I guess we're gonna try to take out their shields and then kill them really quickly. Wow! wow! Sorry, I didn't mean to channel my inner, um... <laughs> wow! My inner, uh... Walker? Wilkinson? I forget his freaking name. Oh, wow. Okay, at least we can continue take out their systems. We j they're gonna cloak, probably. Maybe I can get one bomb in to stop it. That's that's pretty good. And then we can keep keep their shields down and ideally kill them before the ASB comes back in. So it'll be this. Ideally keep that guy locked in there. There's the ASB, which we knew was gonna happen. Now we can take out the shields. Could have maybe gotten one more shot in with the spawn tune, but. Christopher Walken. Walker. Walker, Christian Slater. I don't know. Anyways, you're dead. I can't crew kill you. I'm sorry. I wish I could. And now I'm gonna have to actually fight ghosts later too, which is really annoying, especially ASB ghosts. Don't we wanna jump outside of the nebula here? I don't know. Your computer is suddenly flooded with alerts from nearby Dynasty security platforms. You listen to the static as your translator sluggles to pick out something discernible. Avas, turn thine spirits away from this place and take content and safety not to be found here. Uh, kill them? Oh, have the maniacal hands of the lingering demon not yet snatched you away? What monster? We shall help fight the horrible demon. Oh, right. It's the, like, garbage drone. I remember this thing. The horrible demon, that's what it's called. With one chain laser. Chain! Well, do you good, I say. Chain. Chain. The problem with energy weapons is that going up to the better ones doesn't really increase the ions per second. That's my kind of belief as well from from what I've analyzed about them. I haven't actually like run the math or anything like that, but they never really seemed to be particularly effective. Even this one is three power for three shots, but it's an ion weapon. I can always replace it later, I suppose. Piss off. All right, well, I'm going to kill you. At least you only hacked my med bay. And they're gonna board. Well, we can close the doors for a second. Because their crew members are gonna die. You're shooting, I know, you're shooting. You also left my ship very, very quickly, which is nice. All right, Spontoon needs to go in. And, you know, I actually kind of just like this. Keep their ships kind of occupied. Maybe get some healing done. Maybe use another bomb, even. What are we gonna bomb? Maybe shields? I see the problem. They have those stupid repair drones. Which are always an annoyance. So I am kind of thinking, what if we can ice one of those repair drones? Hopefully, we'll see.
Did they board me again? I don't know, I don't think so. Dude, this ship sucks. Like, I can't actually seem to, to get him killed because their ship is too good. So what if we do this? They're, they're too good at repairing stuff too. So, I, I don't know, kind of think maybe we'll just leave, especially because I have no weapons now and they're gonna shoot me. You know what? This is a, this is a fight we are not well suited for because they have two bars of shields and apparently that's the worst thing in the world for me. What are you selling? What are you buying? First laser mark two. You know what? I think I'd rather have that than the energy cannon because it's at least something that I can equip Possibly right now? Even the heavy stunner. Like, thinking about it. Energy cannon, 16 seconds, three ionization, three power. Heavy stunner is two power for the same time and the same ion damage. Sure, this doesn't do hull damage, but really ionization is meant to enable your other weapons not be the only weapon that you're utilizing. Energy weapons just blow. <laughs> I definitely feel like uh, like a burst laser Mark II is just gonna be way better. So goodbye, hello. And then how much is that? That's um, it's seventy-five. We can afford we can afford that. I think right now, if I just sell a couple of things. So I'm gonna sell, probably sell the bomb, keep the laser. And by laser, I mean beam. But what is a laser? What is a beam? So we'll do, um, we'll do this. And now I can actually like use my freaking weapons. Chain energy chains up to like two ions every four seconds. I see, so that's that's why someone said that the, the chain energy was actually the good one because it can fire faster as it fi fires, which honestly makes a lot of sense. Chain weapons are pretty good. So chain energy is the good one. Okay. I'll still fight you. Yes. Oh, that's an adaptive laser. I am a little scared. No, 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 get out of the room. Don't get ionized, you a-hole. My, my doors are gonna be freaking toast in a second. And they're gonna ionize my door system too. It's four shots, I think. That's not bad, that's not bad. Okay, we're ready. Oh my god, it's actual damage. Okay, their weapons are offline. My crew, a little little wounded, a little worse for wear. I know, I know. If they get stunned, I'm gonna be very displeased. So I think I'm gonna just run my crew in here and try to kill these guys as quickly as possible. Okay. Beautiful. Spontoon is back. Spontoon is back. And they have two HP. I will say, our weapons seem to be faring a little bit better as of late. Turns out actually having, you know, multiple beam more lasers. <laughs> Damn it. It's pretty good. Fleet delayed by one jump. I need to remember that you don't have to crew kill that. You can just destroy it. And you still get the benefit. You still get the benefit of being able to get the fleet delay in the sector scans. Um what are you doing? The filth, the filth. How it lingers. Um, calm down. Do you seek to help? Help with what? The rubbish, oh, uh, collect scrap. 
and then we get a crew member out of it too. I mean, I'll do it. <sighs> Phantom. Wait, you don't explode in ionized systems. So you know what? I think I'm gonna put you in the shield room so the rock man can just do rock manny things. Like man systems. And just be an overall good dude. Wraith is the one who I'm like, just get away from anything. You know what? You can man sensors and our repair bubonic lettuce can actually, uh, you know, fight off invaders. They're going to die anyways after a while. You can be Wart Mauler. That seems like a great name for a phantom. All right. Um, 87 scrap. Now the rebels are coming. The rebels are coming. The rebels are coming. But you know they're they're just stinky old rebels. Who cares? Um, shield's gonna be next. Yeah. Board power says, "Toss me out the airlock and replace me with the phantom." If we get another phantom, I will toss you out the airlock. Don't worry. And you're a ghost. You'll live. You're gonna be floating through space forever, but you'll live. Dynasty. Chase down the auto ship. First, you have to take out this auto. Okay, well, I'll do that. It's an energy weapon. Annoying when the enemy ships have them because they're very good at just like peppering your health down because they do hull damage. Not so good when I have them. Spooky. Spooky ghost man. Yeah, like, sure, you did some damage to me, which is annoying, but it's not much. It's more just you being annoying. You hurt me. You did one damage. I gotta pay to repair that. You you don't have to pay to repair your ship. If you kill me, you win. Report back. Um... Okay, we, we got into combat and we got some stuff out of it. Beautiful. This is an ASB, which I don't like, but we kind of have to go through. Because I don't want to go to the store to go around. And actually, now I don't think we can because the rebel fleet is going to be doubled. Now that I think about it. Wow, you have like garbage weapons. I had to run from an engineer ship earlier. You are just going to be in, like incredibly easy to take down, even though you might do one damage. Nope. All right. Also, I do have better weapons now, admittedly. Quirk says, what are ghosts composed of? I'd say cheese, but that's actually the moon. Spooky ghost cheese. Yeah, there's no store there, so we gotta go through the ASBs. Um, well, let's uh, let's upgrade shields first, then we'll do it. Hello, planet. Spectral bomber, and you have a cloak. And uh, sweet piercing laser, which I'm not a big fan of at all. And like two beams, which are garbage, but I'm not a fan of the fact that you have like a piercing laser mark too. Yep, kind of expected that to happen, but we can get in there and get this repaired very quickly. Let's get the dodge up as much as it'll go. That's gonna hit, so let's get the shields up. At least we still have weapons. Stopping you from cloaking would be nice. Or for cloaking for as long as you can, but cloak for. Words. Dun, dun, 
dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, I can probably kill you before the next ASB lands, though. This was not a, a terrible encounter. As annoying as it is. Oh, God! I didn't have time to, to pause when I came back from alt-tabbing. Well, listen, I didn't alt-tab, I just, you know, was busy getting my rewards from the fight. All right, we gotta go hit up that shop. I don't think you're gonna do too much damage to me. That's three shot and then a chain heavy, which is not bad. I would rather have you not destroy my engines though, with a level two mind control. You just phase through the doors too. You're kind of a jerk. And by kind of, I mean you're really a jerk. And you just exploded. Please don't explode into me and kill me. What are you gonna do? Stuns crew and then ionizes systems by two bars. Wow, that is so annoying. I mean, crap. Depower that temporarily. Good. Good. I hope he died. <laughs> Before I leave, let me just say, I hope you die. Ships don't have any oxygen. I wish you would die. Die, die, die. Also, die, die, die. All right. Uh, we can jump here over store exit. More power, I think, would still be nice to have. Why don't the ghosts ever bother to fix their ships? I guess the idea is that they always, um, take over broken enemy ships because they don't require any oxygen. Wow, you guys are just like dead. And goodbye. All right, my weapons are good to go though. Something like maybe this. Didn't start a fire or anything, but that's okay. you still have an oxygen room? That's what I want to know. I was really hoping to find a uh, like special event outside of the nebula, but I guess we don't find them here in the spectral wastelands. I thought we could, but maybe it's like spectral homelands. When you leave the nebulas, you get like, um, Opportunities for ruins. Maybe it's like abandoned ancient sector, abandoned sector or something. God, I hate your cloaks. You know, oh look, enemy energy systems, which are really annoying to deal with. And here, there go my shields in about a half second. Yep, so I have no shields. So we need to take out the drones. Thank God. <laughs> they still have a beam, but maybe they won't fire uh, until they come out of cloak. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, let's go, you idiots! Wait for the spawn to We do like, maybe take out their weapons. And take out their ship. Good Lord. Okay. 
I could go to the store or one more jump then here than the store. <laughs> Although I might have to fight at the exit if I do one more jump. Do 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 do. I will because this takes this into consideration. Although we're gonna be in a nebula for one more one more jump, so it'll go to like there, then full. Di no, we gotta go to the store. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't want to not go to the store and then die, but if I take seven damage, I'd be very sad. <sighs> Dude, charge lasers are really good, but I think we I think we don't need another gun. I think I would have loved to have picked up a system, but we can't afford it because we need hull repairs. I think we can definitely, well, yeah, they don't have a, a well, yeah, they don't have a uh, drone system, so why don't we sell these? It's just so good at taking down systems. Like I would, re I would replace Spawn Tune with the Particle Accelerator. I'm gonna repair and then go. No, I'm gonna get the backup battery. And then I'll go. It's a tough call though. Tough call. Tough oh, it's a new gun! <laughs> well, can I go back to the store and sell it? Probably not, but hey, yeah, we'll sell it later. Sail and liberated sector. Uh, uh, I mean, I'll go to sail and I'll just kill them. I think. Yeah. I don't want to, because I don't want to. I don't care. Continue. Proceed. Exit. Continue. Continue. Rebels will struggle to track you here. The exit beacon was never specified. You'll have to find it yourself. And that happened in like a random system? Or is, is it just because we're in a nebula? We should jump out of the nebula just to see what we get though. And the store beacons are just free encounters because I don't care about actually going to the, the store sector. Now I seem to, you're gonna hack me too? I seem to be saying this most encounters here but we should probably think about getting a, uh, stop. You just, you break my system if I go in there to attack you. Maybe I should just let you punch it for a while. We're gonna need a new gun at some point. Let's worry about that later. Let's also back a battery. Yeah, well, at least I can do some damage here. Actually, this is a pretty decent spontoon. We took some damage. Can't help. Help but notice we only had like a 5% dodge chance though. You know what, wait for Spontoon. Ignore their cries. Are you not dead yet? Not my pilot. I don't want to walk in there. Well, first of all, I can't, but second of all, well, I guess I can with the, the Wraith. Even if I do, he's just gonna blow up and break the system anyways. Might as well just like finish him off here. A little bit of fuel. We are not that strong. And honestly, part of it is because we don't have any additional systems. We're just rolling kind of default systems here. Maybe get a mod laser from one of the Hectar stores. The problem with that is that I'd have to spend like 120 scrap buying it, buying the mods for it. I'd rather just not. They are in this room. We're gonna have you go there, you go there, you three go there, and you go there.
All we gotta do is just keep them at bay for a second and they are dead. Siren Head, welcome to today's hopefully not six hour long uh, FTL run, but so far it doesn't look like that's gonna be a problem. I know, thank God, right? No, thank me. Let's go to the Hector store and blow it up. Goodbye. I wish I could get the Hector, oh, four bars of shields? I wish I could get the Hector point uh, and then kill them, but I don't think that's possible. We need freaking missile defense. They're gonna get a missile off. But thankfully it missed, it was gonna hit piloting. Very good shots, let's do something like this. Okay, they still have the missile. Three damage? What the heck are those things made out of? Decentanium? I don't like that they're probably getting their uh, cloaking system back online. So I'm gonna fire actually before Spontoon comes back. Oh! There goes the cloak. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know why they're not getting anything else repaired. That didn't go too badly, but I don't like that ship. Um, I don't think there's any reason for us to actually go to the stores except to destroy them. I could sell a couple of things for like 50 scrap, but we can always just do that later. Lady Aranine, welcome. How are you doing? Maybe I'll go to one of the stores and try to get a mod laser though, who knows? Hey, that's a lot of shots. That's a lot of bullets. Should micro the power on this a little bit more, but what do I care? It'll take less damage. Okay, I mean, that's a very good point. Okay, that's four, four? Really, you're not gonna give me one dodge at all? At least they die pretty quickly. 21 scrap, okay. Um, here's the thing, even if I do get a weapon, I can't equip it. So, and it's, even if it's, you know, a super high power, three power, five shot laser, it's gonna be slower than these. So I think we just skip the store. Maybe what I'm gonna do instead is actually just upgrade the weapon system. Oh, no, I need to upgrade the weapon system one more time, then I can upgrade the weapon system, my bad. Sorry, game. Here I thought life was fair. So you know what, let's get some dodge chance. 170 scrap that you can buy cloaking. That's actually not a bad idea. I wish I'd thought of it before I spent all my scrap already. At least this ship, they only have one gun. That's way easier. One gun, what is this, my lucky day? Ha ha ha. Dude, I love it when enemies board me. Their ships are so garbage. You know, we'll do it like this. Oh, their crew's already dead, never mind. <laughs> yeah, Hector being a guaranteed fight is real nice. You go to the beacon, you fight some people. As long as their ship is not incredibly overpowered, you're fine. I would love it if you crew is, I would love it if, if you crew killed them, you got some like free loot. But that would probably be a little bit too strong. <laughs> so I will take your 25 scrap instead and then move on. Our ship looks powerful. Uh, we have a few lasers, that's about it. 
We have no missile defense at all. That's amp flak, isn't it? Get our dodge chance up. 40% dodge chance is like the bare minimum I would like. Because we gotta dodge that incoming missile. Never mind. I guess we're just gonna guess we're just gonna freaking die. Okay. I think we can kill the ship here. Do like uh, one of these. Well, that's not gonna work. Now they're just trying to escape. I should not have shot at their piloting system. They got in there and actually started repairing it immediately. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Nope. What makes you think I need fuel? I have 30. 27, or 72 scrap. We don't need to spend it. We really just need another system. We need like a missile defense system. It's Cali the Calculator. Please give me good loot. Give me good, sweet loot. Cali, you're gonna mind control a crew member and then hack me. At least you're in the med bay. You know what, that's fine. Why doesn't the med bay heal my own characters? Maybe that would be a, very annoying. Sarnet says, oh, it's this donkey. You donkey! It's flippin' raw! I've never actually seen that clip. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. What is 14 divided by seven? Power of math will prevail. No, we actually want to kill math. Whoever designed this event was like, man, I really like FTL. You know what I don't like? Math. If only there was some way I could uh, show people just how little I like math. What's nine plus 10? 910, obviously. Wait, 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 are we talking about uh, C or JavaScript? <laughs> Kali has secret dialogue sometimes. That sounds fun. Yo, special loot weapon. Equalizer. It's a freak, it's the... Dude, it's the... Um... I forget the name of the weapon. It's a, a uh, uh, blaster. It's not a pre-ion. What it is, is you get two shots. Maybe it is a, no, it's not a pre-ion. You get two shots of the weapon. It takes a long time to charge, and then you get two blasts. I don't think it's a pre-ion, because it says charge time 15 seconds. Although maybe because it, maybe it is a prion, but because it's math loot, it's special. Hold on. Plus one ion damage starts a fire. Initial cooldown is 15 seconds. Charge time 15 seconds. Decrease cooldown by 16. Chain cooldown cap minus 17, and it has two chains. So can't we fire this thing twice? I don't know, but we're gonna freaking try it. But there, I know that there's a weapon. It's like a beam weapon. You get two shots after it charges and it was a special renegade loot weapon that I picked up once on a run a long time ago. I thought maybe this would be it, but maybe it isn't. We'll, we'll go uh, fight the store though, and we'll see what happens. Um, definitely just keep attacking these guys, these poor fools. So I might, I might be thinking of, that's the Gaster Blaster? Yeah, is this not the Gaster Blaster? No, it's a pinpoint beam. So maybe this is not a Gaster Blaster. <laughs> Either way, um, it still seems like a great gun. Let's freaking use it. So we're gonna impact their 
Let's impact their shields. Does this pierce? Well, I mean, let's see what happens. Okay, it fires, and then we only get one shot with it. I thought we would get two, because the chain cooldown cap is minus 17, but maybe that's incorrect. Maybe because maybe, I don't know. I don't freak it, it doesn't matter, just kill him. It's still great. <laughs> You only get one shot, it's just a prion, just with more damage and a fire chance. Well, a guaranteed fire chance, which is pretty good. And a decent stun chance. Well, they're dying. Attributes of one-shot weapons are just weird. That is very true. Attributes of one-shot weapons are very kind of difficult to figure out. Um, I'm just gonna kill them, although I think maybe I could kill the crew because they're in boxes, but... They did put out the fire. Get a guardian drone, and we'll jump. Still a great gun, this equalizer. I would love to have really powerful weapons in my other two slots now. Weak looped encrypted signal. Uh, try to try to decode it. All right, we've done this event before though. Large cubicle structure can be seen from the planet's surface. Okay, so this is the event where we take like 10 hull damage, but we get a crew member or fire extinguishers. <laughs> I'm gonna pull closer. We're gonna we're gonna take like 10 damage. We took seven. We get a crew member, and then we also get Fire extinguishers, map, or parts and scrap. I'm gonna take parts and scrap, which is probably not worth it, but whatever, we got a crew member. Riley. Who we're probably gonna have to get rid of at some point later anyways. Uh, you can be Kalazo. <laughs> Actually, Kalaz, no! You good? All right. Um, I don't know what to do with you, Kalasno. Extinguishes is like 60 scrap value. The thing is, I just don't, it probably is worth it, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just lazy, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Samaith says 62 to sell. Almost entirely useless with this many crew. Uh, that, that's kind of my thinking as well. Like in a lot of situations, fire doesn't matter. All, asterisk, the one run where we were playing the stealth cruiser and I made it to the obelisk sector and I died to freaking fire because they had a drone and the drone does like eight damage per shot with guaranteed fire and I was boarded and I couldn't put out the fire because I forgot to buy the damn extinguishers. At that point, though, I did have like 800 scrap, so scrap was not the limiting reagent. My brain was. Anyways, um, I do have 162. Let's, let's maybe go to this store and not kill the people. Respond. Failure, ship is lost in Nebula. Track down ship? Sure. Mercenaries, hello. You're attacking me? Beautiful. You're gonna board me? Perfect. Dude, I love it when you board me. Your crew dies very quickly. Hold on. Back a battery, please. Bomb in the piloting room does suck. There's nothing we can do. Except, I mean, a lot of damage to you. That's what I can do. Well, there's not a lot I can do, except what I can do is uh, absolutely obliterate your ship. That, that I can do. Please get out of the med bay. I didn't mean to kill him. We got a maintenance drone. Sorry, you are worth the least. We actually really should go to a store if we have full loot. So we'll do that.
The later you find the Subnautica event, the better the third option is since the scrap outcome scales with sector count. That's a very good point. Although if I was smart, I would have considered the extinguishers, but in my head it didn't even didn't even come to mind at all. 15, okay, so it's like three and a half. Uh, it's not going to be four to repair. Disruption field. Teleporter or mind control. Merchant beacon. Why would you buy this for 75 scrap to have a one-time use? Of well, it's not a one-time use only, but why would you do this in order to boost the fleet in order to go to a store? I don't know. Um, there's nothing worth buying. No essential systems that I want. I'm not going to do a teleporter run. So I think we'll sell, sell. 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 Heal up. We can only buy three items, but I don't want any items. So, goodbye. Defense Drum Mark II could be pretty good, though. But only if we actually find a way to use it later. Y you know, power module is pretty tempting. Is there another store? There is. You know? See, now I actually have the scrap to get another weapon online. So I'm thinking power module, and then if we get a laser weapon, that's pretty good. And it's only 30 scrap. And we can sell it if we don't find what we need. So, sure, I'll take it. Seven iron does take down four shields. It is pretty good. That's why I'm I'm very happy with our weapon loadout right now. And also seven ion damage. I, I guess it caps at 25 seconds, doesn't it? So the first shots from our lasers can take out weapons, and then the follow-up shots have to take down shields again. Search. We'll just do one of these. It's nice in ancient sectors because it summons ancient stores. I guess so. Yeah? Yeah, I guess so. And then with an ancient store, you could, uh... You could hopefully buy, like, really great loot. Wow! What a shot! What an incredible shot. Did one damage and is uh, obliterating my shield system. Wow, what a shot! Oh, wow! So we can fire one more shot on weapons. Next shot needs to go on shields, though. That'll uh, really put us at that 25 second boundary. Lasers are better without the power module. True in most situations, I feel like because we only have three weapon slots, though. Hmm. Maybe I would like to have the power module thing, but I will take a replacement crew member for this Wraith, who will now no longer stun me anymore. And you can go on sensors, because you are a slug after all. Horrible on the beam and eye on the power module. It never felt good on those, did it? Uh, let's go shopping. Still an another power module, but a scythe. Particle beam, single shot heavy laser. These are terrible, but we do finally have the ability to buy something like a system. That was a waste. Um, I kind of like both mind control and drone control here. Missile defense and then... We don't really need crew defense. Enemy crew die so easily aboard our ship. Maybe just like a drone system? Maybe a hacking system. Hack enemy weapons and then just wait for the equalizer anti-hull burst to take them out. Maybe we need to hack... Piloting or something. Why use power when you can use blank? I mean, 
the the number one honest answer is access. You might not have accuracy fire hull or any other weapon mod. I mean, this shop only had um, power, so you know. But I think uh, I think hacking could be pretty good. There are many ways to get the proper mods you want. Yeah, I guess not killing all the other shops would do it. <laughs> um, let's uh Also, I know you mean well, but that that sounds like an insult. I know you're still relatively new. <laughs> it's like Maybe, maybe the multiverse, but I, I do have like, uh, you know, 20 runs under my belt. I'm really just, just debating drones and hacking, because hacking is missile defense, but drone control, you know, I could have a couple of different drones operational. Particle is good when the enemies don't have a shield. That's also a very good point. But then I, I worry about not being able to do enough hull damage. Because, like, with with these weapons, with the equalizer and then two weapon slots, I'm, I really want to try to build a weapon loadout that can kill ships before their shields can even come back. But... I really just want to have a fourth weapon slot. I would I would love to be able to pay, like, 200 scrap to buy a fourth weapon loadout. Uh, as it is, I think, um... I think I'm just gonna buy hacking as my missile defense, and then I'm just immediately going to get the defense scrambler so I never have to worry about that ever again, and then we'll just upgrade this thing to take out enemy, uh, enemy weapon systems while I'm, while I'm waiting for my stuff to charge. I think that's acceptable. Try to scrap, kill the ghosts. Dynasty class F. Oh, freaking hell. Paper scored. Welcome and thank you very much for the resub for the night. Are you having a, a good night? Are you going to sleep? Or are you st sticking around? Either way, thank you. Give them some missiles to access a score. Uh, a store. At this point, we don't really need a store. We just went to a store. So I will scrap your wreck and then fight you. Which sounds great to me, actually. Not so much this, but let's get the med bay up. Unstable shocks. Shock ability triggers more often, only triggers when below 110 health. Ew! Um, I might wanna just hack their teleporter just to get their crew off my ship, but I think we'll be okay. It is very, like, I'm, I am a little scared. I kind of want to combust just to kill the crew, but it only does 15 damage to enemy crew. It's not that much. Paper Skorg says, I need to go to sleep. Well, have a good night then, Skorg. I think I am actually going to um, hack their teleporter to get off my ship. Anytime there's crew members like this that have, yeah, because they just ionized right now. But anytime there's a, a enemy race aboard my ship, I'm I'm always a little scared because I don't know what they can do. You know, if they ionize my crew and stun them and then keep beating on them, they're gonna freaking kill me. Now it's not so much of a concern, even though you did ionize my crew again. If a weapon does more than five ion damage a shot, it can ionize the system for longer than 25 seconds. It says nickname is Nick. Really? Is that a is that a multiverse thing? I have no oxygen. Cause that's news to me.
I have, I have been unaware of that being a mechanic. So what you're what you're telling me is that the equalizer can ionize shields for longer than 25 seconds. How long how long would it would it ionize them for? 35? Because that is certainly interesting. There was no ion source that could do more than five at once in vanilla. So it's just because in multiverse something can do more, it's uh, that's the reason why that exists, huh? Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So maybe I can fire at the weapons multiple times and then fire at the shields, but I don't know. Okay, so, here's our, our theoretical missile defense. And enemy invaders really just don't have a chance. I say theoretical missile defense and now I'm looking at the ship and like, they have a long, long ass freaking cloak. But we can still try. Wait. Equalizer goes in. You can't explain that. All right, I think that worked pretty well. The most a weapon can ionize for is 55 seconds in multiverse, if I remember correctly. Hmm. That's interesting. So I, I wonder if mine could actually do it for 35. Should have really had that powered up. Um, you're gonna get it repaired. I think we go for shields next. I know that maybe I don't actually have to do this, but I still want to do it just to, just to ice their shield room. Can't help but notice though that their shields still are not back. Oh, they just came back, right there. And it's on fire. Oh, I should have shot. That's okay, we'll wait. Their shield room's on fire. Sorry, I forgot that when I alt tabbed the game pause, that was not just <laughs> waiting for a, you know, there's stuff to come back online even longer for no reason. All right. Coalition Stronghold Guild Territory. Okay, I see exclamation marks. I think to myself, self, we can get new freaking ships. I'm gonna alt tab and go to unknown.png, which is my my cheat sheet. Um, guild territory. We're looking at starting lodge slash no ship nebula. What? I, what? It says I have to buy it. Oh, it's a uh, salt quest. It's salt quest territory. Oh my god. Uh, now, what's stupid about this is that if I had, and I apologize, if I had done hectar shops, we could do the salt man quest. That's what I mean when I say I freaking hate this game sometimes. We're still gonna do it though. Maybe I can unlock a ship with Saltman on it. I don't know. Proceed to the guild territory. It's Saltman. Hello. Let's go aboard the lodge. Um, something to sell. It's Sylvan. Follow Sylvan. The, the guild wants him dead. Can you save the salt man? He's actually a very important man who enables you to get to a super, super secret quest line if you have done the salt man. Why don't you do it yourself to accept, agree, continue? Could you complete this quest with the salt man? Yo, okay, pike beam.
four power, but with the equalizer, two damage to all of those systems. <laughs> the damage from this is absurd. A part of me is thinking, what if we go like beams? Like, can we do pinpoint beam, pike beam, equalizer? That's probably a bad idea. We don't need this. We need 30 scrap to do the salt quest. I don't think I want it. It's so tempting though, because we can actually do quite a lot of, of damage with a pike beam and then the shields being offline. I just worry if an enemy, well, if an enemy has a cloak, we could just shoot the cloaking system. We must become the beam master. What I like about it is that it's a four power weapon. As a result, we're getting closer to eight power out of two weapon slots. Five shields will ruin your day. Not really, because I still have, I would still have another gun. It's not just equalizer plus two beams. Even the stiletto, stiletto could fire on shields. It would pierce the remaining bar of shields and then do three damage to the system. And then we can just fire the pike beam and do two damage to the whole entire ship. So that would still work. It's just that if we fail, <laughs> then we're going to have a bad time. But pike beam by itself is very tempting. I think I'm going to skip, but I, I see the value of pike beam raking across the entire ship once we fire the equalizer. But I, I just... I'm very wary of having three weapon slots. I want to be able to still do damage even if, you know, their shields come back online. Super shield also screws with it. That's true. You know, we could always wait for the equalizer to fire at their normal shields, but that's going to take a long time to charge the pike beam. It's going to require two full barrages. So I think we're just okay with the weapons that we have. I would just love to have one more one more weapon slot. And again, I would pay. I would pay out the nose for another weapon slot, but we can't. So there's our quest. We have to go there. Um, let's just start here and then we'll go inside the nebula. We got a lot of time. And remember, you need like 30 scrap. It's a big ship. It is a bright rainbow cruiser. Okay. Something something melons. Oh, it's a shell ship. They take more damage from low oxygen, so there's a very good, like, possibility of killing the crew here. Now, do, do they take damage from being aboard my ship? Shells are immune. So shells are immune to the shell damage from the shell ship. It's okay. Let's have you go on sensors. Bing, bing. Pinpoint beam. This is, uh, what the, I don't know what the hell this thing is. That does worry me. Um, let's look. What do they have? Cloak, teleporter, clone bay, oxygen. If we can take out O2, that would probably kill the crew. But we got to take out weapons first, and we have to take out clone bay as well. So this is going to be a little... A little awkward. You should go into doors now. This is our ship, but RGB Gamer. It is a, it's a pretty ship. It, you know what it reminds me of? My card outline in Monster Train. You think that weird thing is a bio beam? Well, let's find out. It is a beam. They are firing ions. You know what? Actually, I think I would like to just... Um, Oh, maybe that was a bad time to depower my shields. You know what? Let's just hope for the best. Oh, Jesus. Um, they're exploding and doing damage right now, which is a little scary. Think we're okay, though? Yeah. So that was a dumb idea. <laughs> we'll be fine though. You uh you get the door you get that repaired, you two get that repaired. I'm gonna wait for them to cloak, by the way. 
You mother, god damn it. You're, you're gonna be fine. Are you? Yeah, you're gonna be fine. They keep combusting and then breaking my stuff. Stop blowing up on my own ship. Lucky Dodge is there. You gotta, you gotta tank for this guy. Arrgh! Okay, you're getting that repaired. You go in here and start attacking. I might just have to equalize and just start shooting, but I really want to get all of my weapons online. They're just hanging out in my freaking weapons room. So I think I'm gonna wait for another iteration here. This is probably stupid. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out their ability to cloak. I'm gonna hack their weapons. Okay, um, our weapons are now offline again. <laughs> or our hacking is offline. We still have weapons, we still have weapons. God, I hate this ship. We also have no dodge chance now. How are our weapons so freaking destroyed? Get out of the room! <sighs> I hate this ship, this ship is very annoying. So I, I have nothing online. We have to get the weapons repaired. We might just leave from this encounter because they're gonna get their shields back online and then we've lost our advantage. Okay, you go there, you go there, you get this repaired. Okay, they left. Oh my god, my stuff is online. Okay, take out their weapons. Who's dying? You're suffering from low oxygen. Makes a lot of sense, that's kind of what you what you do. I, I So I can't escape right now, we gotta get stuff repaired first. You get this repaired. You get this repaired. I think we're gonna die. No, we're not gonna die, we're just almost dead. Could you stop boarding me, you assholes? Okay, we can leave, jump. My God, what an absolutely piss poor freaking system here. Ignore the station, just give me a second. They retreated, okay, beautiful. You go there, you go there. Get the oxygen powered up. Ugh, and that's just, they, they kept boarding me and taking out my weapons. I guess that's a good good idea, you know, depower, or sorry, vent the weapons room, then they couldn't get in there. But they were still shooting at the weapon system too. They, they just kept the pressure up, and even if I killed their crew, it doesn't matter because they just come back to life. That was an annoying ass encounter. So much of my ship needs to be repaired now. I really wanted whatever their like sweet, alternate weapon was, or alternate item that they had, but... That was annoying. Uh, let's get stuff repaired. You're gonna be fine. All right, everything's back. Mostly. And that's what I'm worried about with, um, you know, Cloak and Equalizer. Like, if we can't kill them, and their shields come back, there's nothing really that we can do. Well, we can try to <laughs> kill them, but our whole laser can't really do it on its own. Shell boarding is a powerful tactic. Well, it's powerful when you don't care if your crew live, which I guess is, uh, you know, feels like cheating to me, but what do I know? All right. I also wish you could go back and fight the MV ship, but I don't think you can. Ghost stole my ship, all right. They have a Volk. They're not gonna fire their Volk. Yeah, now it's like just normal ships. <laughs> now it's easy. What happened to my weapon? Did m all of my lasers hit all of their lasers on the way in? Is that what happened? 
I think that might be what happened. Shells plus level four teleport can cheese everything so hard. I guess when you can teleport over to the enemy ship and destroy one bar of the system, yeah, that's really annoying. In particular for the player. Um, scrap a bit. I'm okay with this. Hi. And they're dead. All right, 104 scrap. I guess we could, I guess, um, fight them. They are still there. I thought maybe you couldn't. We could have stolen some crew members too. All right, I'm, I'm a little annoyed. I'm coming down from it, okay? I'm relaxing. Heart rate's coming down a little bit. <sighs> Deep breaths. We're okay. We'll we'll live. We'll survive. Rockman might destroy my door system, but we'll survive. We should really get our dodge chance up. Also, cloak. I hate you. On the, on the one hand though, a pike beam would have been nice, but we wouldn't have even been able to fire the pike beam shot. Like, they would have, they would have taken my weapons offline by one bar and that pike beam would have been useless. You're not gonna break my shields. You do do extra sabotage damage though. Hello? Like, are you gonna uncloak, please? I really just need better weapons. <laughs> so they, their weapons just, or their shields just barely came back online there. Let's, um, I don't wanna beeline that quest. I would like to go to a shop beforehand because I don't know what to expect from that salt man quest. I'm gonna make enough lovely necklace out of your teeth, uh, excuse me? Okay, well, you're gonna die before you can do anything. They have the capability of hurting me a little bit. Now, not so much. Why are you always mind controlling? Surrender, no. I would rather just kill you. Hundred and sixty-six scrap. We'll keep jumping. We'll keep looking. We'll keep searching. Rodeo. Ask about the rodeo. Enter. Inquire about these equinoids instead. We don't need a horse. <laughs> I will enter the rodeo. Send out a random crew member and we. Okay, our crew member didn't die, but we didn't win the rodeo. Rip. That's okay. I probably shouldn't have even entered the rodeo. I thought that it wouldn't request a crew member to, you know, maybe die. I thought we would just, I don't know, bet? It did say enter, not bet on the rodeo. Hail. No bother me, guild stealing all kills. What happened to time when Hive most feared and claimed all praise? Space now clan territory, disgusting. I feel you, man, slugs suck. Thank you for the whole repair. S from the smelly slugs. Or not from the smelly slugs, but yeah, screw the smelly slugs. Um, you're just a puppet of the government. I don't think there's any option here that actually makes them happy. Piloting. That is not that bad. I will hack their weapons. We have 20 drone parts. There is, you just have to pay attention. Hmm. 
So maybe maybe the first half half of that they express what they're disappointed in, and then it's that's four different options and it's random each time. Maybe. All right, I could see that. What me pay attention? I always pay attention. You have to pay attention if you're talking to a slug, a mantis, a rock, or a leech. Oh my god, do you want to be on- I'm gonna be completely honest with you about something. I always just imagined it being a rock man. I never thought for an instant that it could be a different race. You're absolutely right. It's- it could be one of the four. It could be a, um, a leech, a mantis, a slug. Or Rockman. I never realized that. <laughs> oh. The real question is who believes life just sucks, man? Probably the leeches, right? Zero Debt says that's why I've chosen all the options, but nothing is different. Because you would you would think that it's they're all working together. You wouldn't think that that the race would matter at all. But that's such a cool little um not even Easter egg, just cool little mechanic there. Leeches are just depressed, lol. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. All right. Equalizer. It's a lot of weapons. Our dodge chance is good enough. You know, we should just be in the O2 room. Just to block off any invaders who want to board, and you can be up here just to block off any invaders. That's good enough. Torch beam. That's enough scrap that I'm going to accept it as well, but the weapon, we can just sell the weapon at a store. 222 scrap. I really think we'll probably go shields. <laughs> Bro, the lore! <laughs> I don't pay attention to the lore. Probably should. Tourist location. Board? Zoltan came around and asked if I had a permit. Didn't even buy anything. What are you selling? Spider horse or lizard plushie? Well, the spider... Sammy is definitely the most exciting plushie in the galaxy. Wait, don't we just get a, um, a crew member out of this? Buy the rest of them. Yeah, we get T-Lek. Slug Ranger. You know what? You're gonna upgrade. You 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 went into training, basically. And now you're gonna still man the sensor room, but at least now you have a bomb ability. What is your bomb ability? A stun bomb and cloaks. Just don't get mind controlled, please. Continue. Do nothing. Oh my god, it's a ship that doesn't immediately want to board me. Well, sorry, it doesn't immediately want to, um... Cloak, is what I meant to say. And didn't. The only lore Abe cares about is Ellie lore. I read the whole damn quest line! I better know it, like, by heart at this point. He has a hat that cannot be mind-controlled. He does have a hat, though. Maybe he can or can't be mind controlled, but at least he does have the hat. Should you really have um, left your ship at this point in time, considering you freaking bombed? But at least you're still taking damage. You also can't move. Probably not a good thing for a slug. Long range scanners. Dude, what is with this sector giving you loot in order to keep them alive? I like it, <laughs> let's be clear. And in fact, now that I have long range sensors, I know there's nothing here, so let's go here. Do something aboard the ship. We've already salvaged. You know what, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna repair. Oh Christ. Shoal007, thank you very much for the resub for three months. And welcome. And then I'm going to, we can't buy another bar of shields. Barely. We're gonna upgrade hacking. And get a little bit of extra power to go along. No, we need 30 scrap. 
you know what? Let's save 76 scrap just in case we need it. I almost did it again. And that's the exact same thing that happened last time. I wanted to spend the scrap. This is where Sylvan said he must be. We can uh, take advantage of the asteroid. You approach the asteroid marveling at the sheer size of it. It's almost as large as your ship, but that's when you come to a realization it is a ship. It remains motionless as you approach and you suspect it might be empty. Okay, I think I've done this. We wound the ship and then the crew are like, yo, don't kill us. And we say we were sent by Sylvan, right? Send some crew aboard. Skeleton crew. You can probably get out of this, but you doubt they'll be willing to talk until you rough up their hull. Yes, okay. I will also kill your crew. But I mean, that's just, that's happening whether you like it or not. Actually, you, hold on. You go there, stop them, you go there, stop them. You exploded. <sighs> I hate you mother truckers exploding. So here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hack their weapons. should also power up the mimic. I'm gonna hack their weapons because they're literally about to fire. They, what? Resilient to ion damage? Okay. Apparently don't put all your eggs in that basket. Freaking uh, wreck them, right? Immune to ion? Run? I'm not gonna run. I mean, they have no weapons, so. Exhibit 103 of A being pretty new to the game. All right, you know. You got me. I didn't know that salt ships were resistant to ionization. <laughs> you got me there. At least their crew is dying. I gotta be careful because I don't want to kill the crew. I want to do hull damage. Please go to the med bay. You make me worried. And this is why we don't want the pike beam. I didn't even consider the possibility that enemy ships could have iron resistance, but we do not want pike beam only. We didn't come here to kill you. Sylvan sent us. Where's your boss? We were running a mission to take out one of the guild's less hospitable dissection centers when the boss ran into some trouble. He got captured and is held here currently, but we escaped. His last orders were for us to stay here in the ship and hide. We're in no con condition for a jailbreak, especially not after this little brawl. Sylvan isn't coming. Here are the coordinates of good luck. Quest marker to the next sector. I didn't realize we'd be going to the next sector, but that's okay. And the next sector is where we need 30 scrap. Not this sector, okay. So we will, we will save our scrap here. Or there. Well, we'll save it here, because, you know, we gotta save it there too. By the way, thank you for the backseating, actually, because I, I do need information sometimes, and so the little bit of help uh, explaining things like um, they're immune to ions, uh, explaining some of the mechanics or some of the quest lines, I actually do appreciate it. That's the type of backseating I can get behind. It's not spoilers, it's you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Hand me the controller. Continue. Hundred and three. Again, we can't really utilize any additional weapons. So we're just on the lookout for better weapons, I suppose. And with the hundred and three scrap, I'm gonna buy the cheapo shield upgrade to have it, and I'm gonna buy piloting. 
I'm tired of being bored and then just having my systems be exploded. So let's try this. Hey, it is the, um, it's the, the, the Equinoids, I think. I'm not going to run through the whole dialogue, but there's a presence. It's an old NG who died and, you know, became a cloud of gas looking after a bunch of horses. Who's there? Would you like to hear a story? Uh, sure. And then we get the, his whole story. He's the storyteller. Continue, 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 continue. I assume you're the NG. Uh, I suppose we should intervene. I feel like we've done this before. This exact same quest line. I mean, I'm pretty sure we have done it before. I guess the, the real question, you go through doors. Immune to stuns ignores doors. Okay, well that's annoying. Uh, I guess I'll just go fight you then. We're probably gonna hack him as well. We should also really get the med bay up. In fact, I'm gonna send this crew member in there to help. In fact, maybe I wanna use, well, Can ionize your systems, one ion damage, 12 second stun. Start here. Because they, their crew is actually like pretty strong. They're also dying. So maybe we don't need to, yeah, maybe we're actually like totally fine. Okay, equalizer. They got a cloak and I, I look at the cloak and I say to myself, wow, that's annoying. But, maybe we'll do this. Because they can't actually reach the cloaking system. They're stuck. Everyone go back to your rooms. Power up the O2 system. You two heal. There's a special interaction if you bring the boy from the story here. Ah. Because that is a leave up to you. Maybe you've made, so it's a longer quest line. This game and its long quest lines. <laughs> you did ionize my crew. You're not gonna kill him though. What I will do, might as well hack him, is take out the shields next, and they're dead. They still have one crew member beaten on me in the, in the room though. We warned them not to disturb the Equinoids. Oh yeah, we get their ship, don't we? Samantha says, I'm gonna be, it's gonna be a glorious day once Abe uncovers the remaining 94% of the lore in this game. How much more can there be? <laughs> Other than just paying attention to every single event and reading the whole damn thing. It's not really a quest line, it just gives you an achievement. I wonder if it's like a, a special named character that we have to bring here in that case, or if it's just another event in this sector that gives you a crew member and then you bring them here. Uh, I will offer to take you with me and you say no. I wonder if there is a way to um, actually bring him along. Anyways, heal up. This guy has no idea. He has no idea. All right, um, 121 scrap. We are gonna hit the exit. I'm trying to think if there's anything I wanna upgrade first. It's a nebula, so there should be no ASB, although sometimes there are and I don't quite understand why. Oh, it's because there's no ASB at the exit beacon. Couple more secret sectors. Well, if it's just a couple more, how much more lore can there be? Abe click clueless. Excuse me, I'm not a valley girl. I'm a valley girl in a valley world.
cloak and weapons first. We'll do it like this. On the off chance that we can breach the room and keep it down a little bit longer. Although they're gonna get the repairs done pretty quick. I hate the fact that we missed so many of those shots. They're gonna cloak, they're gonna come back, out of cloak quickly, we're gonna fire on their shields. We should probably power up the O2 system. Considering my crew, that is. And they are stunned in there. Still have one bar of shields. They're gonna get stuff repaired. Okay, they did cloak before I could fire again. As long as they have two bars of shields, we should be able to take them out. Almost. They got a lot of crew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight crew members? That's a lot of crew. There's like another four endings. Ah. Oh. I suppose there is such a thing as too much content. <laughs> Union Core World, Irgun Capital. Okay. I know, I know, I know we can get the puppy kicker. I think, I think that's the right system for that. But isn't Irgun, is that s leeches? I've ne I never go to the leech sector. Maybe we're okay going to the leech sector. So we can get more unlocks, I think, right? That sounds about right. Like, we, we get the puppy kicker all the time. It would be a great gun to have with this, but... Uh, let's go to the Irrigan capital. 